We going forward? <gasps> oh, did you hear Mr. Catbird? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there he is. Don't get bit by anything hiding in there, darling. I have to record for another expedition Sunday, by the way. That's mm -hmm. what I'm doing. You can still talk, though. You're not Squee! recording so that when we get bit by a snake, we'll not be able to identify it? Oh, that would be really useful. Do you think we'll see the deer again? Oh. This is getting really overgrown. Alright, so she was back here last time. Yeah, she was right here last time. Oh, she was right there last time. I'm surprised we startled her. The crows are yelling again over at their house. <laughs> they always get in fights with something over there. This was the emptiest spot in winter. And now it's just completely overgrown with all this fun green stuff. Mm -hmm. Look at this. <laughs> That's why you get to see all the cool stuff sometimes, because you're like looking up and you catch all the cool birds. And I'm like constantly like, is anything moving on the ground? I'm about to die. I think that means I have like less courage than you in some ways. Oh look, there's more of those pretty... Oh, I like those pink things. Oh, they're so pretty. I wonder what plant that is. It's an azalea. No, no. no. They're... It's, it's too poofy, like a little pom-pom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a pom-pom. Oh, here's, here it is. Oh. oh, I think it's a wild rose. Oh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that this is actually a little wild rose bush. Come on, go into focus, Mr. Wild Rose Bush. Miss. <laughs> it felt like a rose bush there. You okay? Hello. Hello, pretty roses. Look at the little tiny pieces. Oh, it's so pretty. Ow. It's so pretty. You gonna take one? No, I'm not gonna take one. I'm gonna take a picture. There we go. So that's that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I I mean I know theoretically of oh darling can you help me I'm stuck. Well, just me. <laughs> Am I free? Uh, no. <laughs> my, <head>. Okay, <laughs> my braid is stuck in the tree. There you go. Ah, thank you. Every time oh it is a wild rose tree bush thing. No, oh, ouch. <laughs> okay. No wonder. No wonder. Yep. See. Oh, that's it's so cute. Thorny it is. Yeah, and it comes off in all these little thorns. Do you think people would grow these, like, outside of their gardens to keep deer out? Or would the deer even care? Um, I don't think the deer really care. Deer probably don't care. Oh, mm, thank you. Here we go. Now the azaleas are finally... Oh, they would bloom except Mr. Bug down here is eating him. Look at you! You're eating the azaleas before they get a chance to bloom. I wonder if it's harder for them to bloom in the darker canopy like this. Because we're still in the little pine forest, uh, looking at everything. And you can see the azalea bushes are finally starting to get their blooms. I have been waiting for these guys to bloom since spring. And the ones in here are finally starting to get their blooms. But the ones elsewhere have already bloomed. So I think that these guys... Um, just may not bloom as often because it's darker in the pine forest here. Or maybe the more acidic soil. There's lots of hypothesis. Hypothesi. We were looking at this spot over here where there's all this thick greenery and I noticed there's something very interesting about all this. I know it looks the same at, at like first glance but let's get down here and you can start seeing the tops on pretty much everything have been eaten off at almost the same level but you can see there's just like all the tops of all of these have been sheared off at a very specific level and I, like the people wouldn't have to manicure the path like that over here so I think what we're seeing <laughs> just the whole place if you look across you can see where it's just like cha -cha 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 -cha. I think that we had a very happy 
hungry deer come by and have its fill of food. And actually, Darling saw the deer, and apparently I was too busy talking about azaleas, and I scared it off without knowing about it, so I feel silly about that. But also check out this fern. Oh, the ferns are so pretty. They're so big and pretty. I love it. Oh, I love these things. Oh, so we have a, one more river snake today at least, which is pretty cool. So this is a new day, you guys. This is not the same day that we went on the specimen Saturday looking for the snakes. Today is a new day of looking for snakes, and we have one handsome fella right there. He's very hard to see because I'm just zooming in with my tiny little phone camera, but let's see. He's right there, and you can see him perched in the rocks, and over here are all the fish. So many little fish. They're very, very, very hard to see on the camera because it's very difficult to focus on anything. Oh, the blur is so real. But if you look closely, you can kind of see some movement, especially over on these rocks right now. There they are. There's all the little fish, which is so cool. And then Darling, with his super sharp eyes, has spotted crayfish. Oh, Darling, there's another one coming up. So here's a little crayfish right under the water ripple. There's one up on the rock right there, which is so cool. And then there's another one. It has a little tent house right there that poked its head out. Do you see the, the new one? Right, right there. On the big rock, like on the side. Oh, and there's that dragonfly again. Hi, Mr. Dragonfly. And there's the lazy little snake just snoozing away. So these are just your northern river water snakes. And their main food is just these, these minnows and these crawfish. So he has plenty of food. Oh, look, there's another crawfish. Oh, my gosh, there's so many. Do you see them, darling? I do. Oh, there's so many crawfish. Oh, wow, look at the size of these guys that have just come over. They're huge fish. They're so big. Oh, so awesome. But yeah, this is clearly a perfect spot for these little snakes. Even with the people coming over and like dogs playing in the river, they're totally fine. They have their safe little spot with the rocks and they're doing very well.